اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ وسولات وسلام الا رسول اللہ و الا علیہ و اصحاب ہی الفائزین برد اللہ و من احسن قول ممن دعا الى اللہ و امل صالحا و قاله انني من المسلمين dear brothers and sisters assalamu alaikum may almighty god bestow his peace upon you this subject is the reference to embryology in the glorious quran there are many scriptures that ask us to blindly believe in god in the world hereafter and in the prophets but very few know about the scripture which tells us to think to ponder to reason and to believe only after being convinced of the truth we know about religious leaders who had burned and tortured scientists who spoke out the truth but very few know about the faith which was instrumental in creating great scientists who made tremendous scientific discoveries we know the plight of bruno who was burned by priests for telling scientific truths and galileo who died as a prisoner in florence for refusing to change his scientific views but very few know about the religion that has always encouraged scientists and scientific investigation and research the glorious quran is the unique scripture which commands people not to believe blindly but to accept faith after convincing themselves through thought and reasoning islam is the faith that was instrumental in creating great scientists capable of achieving tremendous scientific feats many may wonder and ask what is the relation between science and religion is not science against religion and religion against science this is a misunderstanding that is fostered by many certain events of history had led them to this misconception we cannot blame them at different points of history there had been clashes between scientists and religious teachings but islam and science have always been in the same path the glorious quran says that those who cling to blind faith and do not think reasonably and who do not use faculty of thought are worse than cattle God asks us in the glorious Quran in chapter 88 verses 17 to 20 Afala yanzuruna ila al-ibli kayfa khuliqat Do they not look at the camels how they are created wa ila as-samaa'i kayfa rufiyat and at the sky how it's raised wa ila al-jibali kayfa nusibat and at the mountains how they're rooted wa ila al-ardi kayfa sutihat and at the earth how it's outspread almighty god wants us to understand him to realize him to know him through his creations like our own body the working of the universe and other diverse creatures islam has never been incompatible to modern scientific knowledge the stress which the glorious quran has laid on the scientific study of the universe is an aspect which is unique in the religious literature of the world the scripture repeatedly calls our attention to the multifarious phenomena of nature occurring around us the quran asks us to examine probe inquire study learn and understand calling our attention to the various phenomena of nature occurring around us almighty god says in chapter 16 verse 69 of the noble quran ان في ذلك لايه لقوم يتفكرون surely there is sign in these for those who think allah has made explicit various evidences in the quran to prove its divinity by its revelation through an illiterate person through fulfill prophesies lack of inconsistency even though the verses were revealed in a long span of 23 years consistency with proven modern scientific facts absolute unique recording and preservation etc the divinity of the glorious quran stands proved 
God emphatically says without any doubt in chapter 26 verse 192 of the noble Quran wa innahu latanzilu rabbil alamin and truly this that is the Quran is a revelation from the Lord of the universe he does not stop there after stating valuable legal dictum high moral principles great scientific aspects and great principles of faith Allah says in chapter 21 verse 7 fas'alu ahla dhikri so ask to those who know in kuntum la ta'lamun if you know not in fact it's a challenge either to prove that the Quran was composed by a man or to accept the divinity of this sacred book at different points of history Muslims as well as non-Muslims supporters of the Quran as well as its critics have collected verses from the glorious Quran dealing with a particular subject and approach scholars in that discipline and have asked their opinion on many such occasions there have been incidents where the person who asked the question as well as the person who answered it were both convinced regarding the divinity of the glorious Quran and they have proclaimed Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan rasulullah I bear witness there is no one worthy of worship other than the one true God and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is the messenger of Allah 